Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amanda Nova, clinical nutritionist, applied kinesiologist, and holistic health practitioner. And I am here today to talk to you about the gut-brain connection in regards to the vagus nerve. Now, I cover a whole chunk on this in my virtual class, Waking Up in Vegas. So I'm not gonna give too, too much away just because the people that have paid and attended and took that class, you can still catch the replay, but I want those people to obviously have had access to, you know, deeper information and that's the whole point of that. But this information is way too important not to share a little bit. So I do want to talk about it today. So the vagus nerve is our longest cranial nerve in our body and it's cranial because it comes from the brain, right? So that's why it's called that and it connects the brain it goes all, it starts in the brain, I should say, and goes all the way down through our thymus. It's like, you know, behind our ears, our throat, our esophagus, our thymus, and it's like our heart, our lungs, and it lands in our liver, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine. So within the gastrointestinal system. Now what nerves do is they send messages, right? So there's messages happening between the gut, the gut and the brain. And that's what's occurring with the vagus nerve. So when you hear about the gut-brain connection, the gut-brain access, all that good stuff, that is literally the vagus nerve. That is what they're talking about. What many people don't know is that 80% of the messages sent through the vagus nerve actually come from the organs and they go this way. And only 20% come from the brain down. So that's why it's so important to work on healing the gut in regards to our brain, our mood, everything else. Now, there is about 70% of our serotonin that is, per, um, is produced within the gut. So that is one of our neurotransmitters in the brain, right? So if our microbiome is a little wacky, a little off, right? Say there's some gut dysbiosis or something going on, there's dysfunction within the gut, then there's a miscommunication that happens with within the vagus nerve that sends messages to our brain. So often we'll feel anxiety, we'll feel depression, our nervous system goes all out of whack. And I've talked about the vagus nerve in regards to the nervous system a few times on other, on other videos, so I'm not gonna go into that today, but there, that connection is there as well. So all the messages get a little bit mixed up if there's something going on within the gut. The vagus nerve is also responsible for peristalsis, which is how we actually digest food. It's how we swallow food. So we chew, we create enzymes, we swallow. And then when we swallow, there's like these uh, muscular motions. It's my very scientific way to explain peristalsis. Um, this is just how I learned it in school. But these muscle contractions that send the food all the way down, right? And then send the, the food and the nutrients where they need to go to be digested, absorbed, and assimilated, right? So if there's an issue with the vagus nerve, there is an issue with peristalsis. So oftentimes people who have vagus nerve dysfunction will have swallowing issues, um, issues with digestion and undigested food within the stool. So that's a really good way to see. It also impacts our bowel transit time. So a lot of people who have vagus nerve dysfunction are constipated. So there's again that disconnection between the brain and the gut in order to tell us when it's time to go to the bathroom and, and that muscle contraction of, of going to the bathroom essentially, right? That needs to happen. So when there's vagus nerve dysfunction, that often happens from gut dysfunction, there's things like constipation, there's things like issues digesting fats, right? There's gallbladder issues, there's issues with detoxing through the liver. So it's connected to all these various things. So it's interesting because with the gut, similar to the lungs, and I talk about this often in regards to the vagus nerve, it's, it's what comes first. Do you heal the vagus nerve dysfunction that could potentially be happening, or do you heal the organ first or the gut? So I like to say that it's good to work on both things. So working on the vagus nerve can help heal the gut, and healing the gut can help heal the vagus nerve. When it comes to those messages and communication, I think it's really important to prioritize the gut healing to make sure that the messages that are being sent through the vagus nerve are accurate and good and that communication is really great and clear, but that nerve needs to be functioning in order to send the messages. So you really do need to do both of those things. So I will do more about how to heal the gut. 
I think there's a lot of information out there, but I will be creating some more content and some more information on how to heal it. I might do a masterclass on the gut if that's something you guys are interested in, but it's important to focus on healing the gut and to heal the nerve and to stimulate the nerve and make sure that the nerve is functioning. I post a lot of videos on how to do that. You can do it by through the ear. If you watch my ear massage video, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it with acupressure or with breath work. But it's just really important to understand that those two things need to be functioning in order for us to go to the bathroom, in order for us to digest. Now, there are other elements in terms of how our gut reacts to nervous system dysregulation and in connection with the nerve. So if you're interested in learning more about that, maybe you're having more nervous system dysregulation than gut imbalance, but then it's causing gut issues because the digestive system essentially stops working when we go into sympathetic nervous state. So if you are interested in learning more about that and you haven't taken my class, uh, Waking Up in Vegas, I highly recommend taking the class or catching the replay. Otherwise, I of course am going to continue to share more information and as much free information as I possibly can as I, as I do here and happy to keep sharing with you guys. I hope you found this to be beneficial and instructive. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions like, subscribe, do the thing, and I will put all the links in the caption. And looking forward to talking with you guys again soon. Thanks, bye.